Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an apartment tour. I've gotten several requests, requests, requests. I've gotten several requests to do an apartment tour. Even on my last apartment, you guys asked me to do one and I don't even think I ever did. So this apartment, I'm like, I'm going to get one in before I move. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, let me know. I just want to give you a warning that there's not a lot of stuff on my walls because I never felt like this place was homey enough. So I bought artwork, but I just never hung it up, you know. I don't know. I'm really picky with what how I envision my apartment. So if it doesn't pan out exactly how I want it in my brain, then I'm not going to do stuff to like improve it. Plus, I already knew I was going to be here for a year only. So... I'm just explaining, I don't want to make this intro too much, I hope you guys like the video and if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section down below. Let's start with the front door, sorry I'm doing laundry, but if you turn to your left when you come in, you open up here, here's my laundry room, it's just plain, I just have a broom, a vacuum, my shoes that I wear when I get out, those are the main shoes that I wear, I only have like three pair. I have my washer and dryer, which I'm really proud of because I actually own them. It's the only thing that I've bought that's like really expensive that I own, so I'm proud of it. And then I just have my detergent up there. Nothing special. And then when you look down, <laughs> there's my dog. He's like, are we going for a W-A-L-K? And I'm like, not right now. So right here is a closet. I just have boxes that I'm gonna be moving. So I have all my boxes. My box light that is broken, so I don't use it anymore. Uh, more boxes. And there's that. And then when you look right here, it's just my dog's bowl with water and food. And right here, I got this from a thrift store. I got it for $3. I actually really like it. It didn't have a price on it, so I negotiated with the person. He's like, you can just take it for $3, so I'm really proud about that. Um, let's do the kitchen. Okay, so these bar stools are from Wayfair. I think I got them. It comes in a set, and it's $100, so not too bad. The little cactus stickers I got at Hobby Lobby but I don't think they sell them anymore. I've had them since my last apartment and they're coming apart. So I think I'm gonna, when I rip them off the walls, I'm just not gonna keep them anymore, but they're adhesives. Coming into my kitchen, I have my pantry right here that has some junk in it. So I'm not gonna show you that. Um, and then my fridge, I got all these cute little stickers at Home Goods, and I put on a radio every day for when I leave for my dog because I don't like him sitting in silence. So I just turn on the radio and put on whatever's on. I think country music's on it right now. I'm not, I don't think he likes it. He's not a country music type of dog. So I need to change the station. Um, I have these cute little decors that I got from Target and this candle that I got from, I think it's either Target or um home goods but i'm pretty sure it's target i have all of these cute little figurines that i've had since my first apartment a lot of the stuff that i have in my apartment is really old so a lot of it's probably not for sale anymore but if you can find it go look for it but yeah these i got at at home and they're just cute little chefs I used to have a chef theme, but I don't really have a theme anymore, so I just kept them, but I might actually get rid of them, or give them to my mom. Anyway, here's my sink. It's dirty, sorry. <laughs> I have an air fryer right there that I got from Walmart. Um, this was supposed to have paper towels on it, but I ran out. My cabinets just have like spices and sugars and stuff, and then my aluminum foil. This just has random condiments in it. Um, oh, I didn't show you over here, but I just have my plates and bowls and stuff. 
And then over here I have glasses and just random things. I don't know why I still have that. I need to throw that out. Bubba, there's no bed in there. I'm washing his bed. He likes to lay in there sometimes, but there's no bed in there. And he keeps going in there, and I don't know why. You don't have to be in there. Come here. Do you want to say hi? He's so good. He's such a good boy. He keeps getting new spots. Shake. Can you shake? Shake. Good boy. But yeah, he gets a whole bunch of new spots. Every day, say, I, you're always changing. Does anybody else talk to their dog in a baby voice? I'm sorry, your bed's almost done washing. Anyway, I apologize, back to the tour. Here's my microwave, oven. I have drawers that just have pots and stuff and a cookbook. Here, watch out, Lubba. I have this that I got from Home Goods. And then I have my little key thing that I got from at home. And I just put random stuff and I have a sage thing. Um, I have pens and stuff and then my keys. Um, I have Tucker's bed. He sleeps in there at night and then when I leave. But I got this online, I forget the website. But if I can find it, I'll link it. I got this lamp from Target. And then this is the living room. So I got these little bin things at um, Home Goods. And then I just put my pillows that I used to have in my old apartment in there. And I also put my blankets in there as well. And the front just says, there's no place like home. And this is my bookshelf. There's my art up there, I made that. Um, I got the flowers from Ikea and the vase also from Ikea. I got this cute little elephant from Home Goods and the this rock from, where is it at? I don't remember where I got it. I got it four years ago, so I'm not quite sure, I'm sorry. I got this cute little Buddha in the corner and I got these flowers this potpourri I got from Walmart and I'm sorry dude hold on I'll get you more water the potpourri from Walmart and the vase from Hobby Lobby this pretty little flower I got from I mean flower what I'm losing my mind this pretty rock I got from Spencer's I believe I got this frame from Society6 with the picture inside I have this crystal skull that I got from Home Goods. A lot of this is Home Goods at home, Target, Hobby Lobby, or Walmart. So if you have any questions about specific things, just let me know in the comments because I don't just want to keep naming where I got stuff. So yeah, if you have a specific question, let me know. I have this clock that has a flower print in it. I have a more potpourri. I try not to put this on ground level because my dog will sniff at it and most likely rip it up. So can't have that because dogs can't eat potpourri. I have this crystal skull with a clock on top that I got from Home Goods. I have this cute little cactus. Another, I'm guessing these are crystals. I don't know. I just like the way they look. I know I'm not into it like that. I have an adventure candle. One of these magnetic time thingies. And I have adventure awaits. So yeah, that's what my bookshelf looks like. So I really like this couch, but I think it's too dark for me. I didn't think about it at the time, but filming behind it makes everything else look dark, which is such a YouTuber thing. I literally want to puke. But anyway, 
the pillows I got from Amazon and oh, I got both of those from Amazon and I got that one from Home Goods. All of my throw blankets I normally get from Marshalls because they have throw blankets for really cheap and I have a lot of throw blankets like it's excessive and the these pillows are the same as those. I got the couch from Wayfair and I got this table from Wayfair. And then I have these cute little coasters with these adorable candles. I got these from Home Goods as well. I really like them because they have like fruits in them. I'll never burn these, they're just for decoration. I got these cute little coasters with this. It's supposed to light up, but the light bulb burned out and I lost the plug to it, so I just use it as decoration now, but it was a lamp at one point. And then I have another candle. This one's cool too, this one's different. This one has flowers in it. And then if you come over here, I have, I used to have plants. If you guys, I posted a picture on my community tab a long time ago of them. They literally all died. So, I no longer have succulents, which is really sad, but I would love to replace them. I had them for like three years and they all died. Anyway, I have these cute little candles right here. They're just for decoration as well. My desktop, which is broken, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try to get it fixed. That's why I haven't thrown it away. I have this plant, which I got from Ikea, I'm pretty sure. It's just a fake plant. I have this art decor, which I thrifted. These were like about $7 a piece, so they were not bad. I'm telling you guys, thrift your art. It is not bad at all. A lot of this stuff is super affordable if you thrift it. And I also have this bubble chair, which I got at Wayfair. I always buy my bulk furniture in Wayfair. They're not the best, but I do like this chair. And then if we come over here, these are my favorite pieces ever. I will never get rid of them. I love them so much. I got them both at Wayfair and if I can find the link, I'll link them because I used to get questions about this table all the time. And then I have a little chalkboard, a marble lamp, some candles and a fake plant. And then I got this ladder at Ikea and it just has a bunch of fake plants and this little plushie, it's a little banana kitten. And I wanted to hide some of the cords for my internet. It didn't really work very well, but I put this table over here just to hide a lot of it. And then I have this artwork up here that I all got at Hobby Lobby and this little drink catcher, which I'm probably gonna get rid of. I don't, I'm not really into drink catchers anymore. I was going to put a giant mirror up here, but I never got around to it, just above my fireplace. I don't have a TV, just because I never watch TV. But yeah, I have these fake candles that I got from Walmart. They just slide up at the bottom. And then I have an instant holder. And I forgot to talk about my rug, but I got my rug at Wafer as well. Now, if we move along, here's over here. This is my bathroom and my bedroom. I'll probably show you my bedroom first. So I get a lot of questions about these stars. A lot of people seem to think it's wallpaper, but it's actually not wallpaper. It's adhesive. So it took me a solid three hours to put all these stars on my wall. But yeah, it goes all the way back here. And it's only on one half of my room. And if you pan over, I have my side desk where I just put random stuff and I don't put clothes in there. My lamp I got from Target and then these fake flowers. My headboard I got from Wayfair. Um, I hate my bedding. I'm not going to tell you where it's from. I literally despise it. I can't wait to get rid of it. <laughs> and then if you come over here, <laughs> I have another desk. I have this light up sign. 
that doesn't even light up. It's broken. So I'm really upset about that. I have a candle, I have fake flowers, and I have a Bluetooth speaker box. My room is very plain. I guess you could call it minimalistic, but I don't like to put much in here. My rug I got from, I think, Overstock. Don't get a white rug because it gets super dirty easily. See all the mud? Yeah, it sucks. And if you come over here, here's my closet. Here, let me turn off the brightness because it's bad. I don't have many shoes. I keep my towels up there. They have a lot of paint on them. I, I tend to paint over my towels, so they're all ruined. I would love to get new towels. I have four pairs of shoes. I never wear any of them. Space heater. Um, I'm in the process of downgrading all my clothes because I have too much. I have a big bag of clothes right there that I'm getting rid of. I have some artwork that I never hung up, which I'm really upset about, but I never got around to it. So I think I'm going to put that in my new room. My hamper that's sitting on a box. <laughs> I have my all of my pants over here. And then I organize my stuff from socks, underwear, and bras, even though I like literally never wear bras. And then I, here's another door right here and it leads into my bathroom. Sorry if this um, house tour sucks, I'm not the best. I work with what I got. Okay, I look like crap, but here's my countertop. I just keep uh, room fragrances over here. Um, I have my mouthwash that I keep out because if I don't keep it out I won't use mouthwash. A candle. This is another one of my favorite candles. It's mahogany. Driftwood smells so good. And then I got these cute artwork from... I'm pretty sure I got them from Ross. Ross has good artwork, guys. Don't sleep on Ross. A lot of people sleep on it. Don't. And then I have more artwork. I hate this one. I can't wait to get rid of that, too. I needed something to fill the space, but yeah, these are really pretty. I like them. And then I have my shower curtain that I got from Target, I believe. I really like it. And then just a trash can and a scrubber, a toilet scrubber. And then below is just filled with junk. I need to go through the drawers and get rid of a lot of stuff, but we won't go through that. And then up here just has like toilet paper and moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I think that's all. If you guys stuck till the end and you want to know a little bit more about my apartment, um, I'll let you know right now. I live in Dallas because I never said that. If you watch my channel frequently, then you would know that I live in Dallas. But if you don't and you're not aware, I do live in Dallas. I live North Dallas, so not in the midst of the city, but I'm still inside of Dallas. I'm near Plano, so... This apartment right here is a one bedroom, one bath. I'm pretty sure it's like 720 or 800 square feet, some, somewhere along that lines. And um, I pay 1,400 for it, so it's a lot. But I also didn't show you guys my backyard, um, but I have a backyard and it has a grass area. So I got that mostly for my dog he likes to be outside and sometimes when I'm doing stuff during the day I'll just pop him outside if it's not too hot and he can like run around because the backyard is pretty big but what else the amenities I never worry about the amenities with any of my apartments because I don't use them but I'm pretty sure it has a gym and stuff like that so yeah that's about all I really hope that you guys liked this video and if you have any other ideas that you want me to do please let me know because I'm not a very creative person so it's hard for me to come up with different um, concepts and stuff that you guys would be interested in because I feel like when I make videos nobody 
cares about them like when I come up with ideas but when you guys give me ideas they actually perform pretty well so I don't know does that say more about me <laughs> probably but anyway that's all for this video I really appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video bye